Welcome, this is Lex for Boating on the Hudson.com, and I have a special treat for you. I'm in Kingston, New York, with Tim, who is right over here, and he's going to show us some incredible engines in Kingston, New York. So tell us what you got here, Tim. So what we have is uh, seven uh, World War II vintage Packard V12 uh, 2400 cubic inch PT boat motors. Uh, the best way I describe for me is the pinnacle of what we were in manufacturing during World War II. This is an engine that was uh, developed. Uh, its uh, history starts at the end of World War I. It has direct lineage to the vintage uh, Liberty aircraft engine and over time had been developed into uh, a 1500 horsepower, uh, what would you call it? Well, in this case, marine unit. A lot of people don't realize the Packard Motor Car Company, uh, while busy building motor cars, were also very big in aviation engines. The, uh, uh, this particular motor, again, its roots came from the Liberty Aircraft engine. Uh, between the two wars, Packard spent a lot of time developing a standard V12, primarily for aircraft use. Uh, as they got closer to the war, they had available to them several different prototypes. <clears throat> and from what I've seen in the history books, uh, basically I don't recall anybody ever really buying them and putting them into, uh, into aircraft. Although, <clears throat> strange enough, in the 1930s, Packard had a very successful radial diesel engine, which a lot of people don't realize. This engine is the, uh, is the M4-2400 uh, marine motor. Uh, it produces 1,500 horsepower. It, uh, it's a total package, including the manifolds and, and marine gear, only weighs 3,000 pounds. Again, primarily they built aircraft engines, which re uh, were necessarily needed to be light. Uh, on the onset of the war, Packard had already had an 800 horsepower version of this available, and when they were developing PT boats, they did their best to uh, to try to sell the package. Uh, I suspect that as the war was ramping up, companies like Allison or Pratt Whitney pretty much had the market all sewed up. At some point, the Navy goes to Packard and says, you know, we need something for our PT boats. PT boats were a, uh, a relatively small craft by comparison to the rest of the Navy, ranging from 72 to uh, 80 foot, uh, completely built of wood, and uh, their sole purpose was delivering what was considered at the time the most sophisticated weapon that the, uh, the U.S. had, which was the torpedo. Uh, the boats themselves went under a lot of developments, and alongside was the uh, development of this engine. When it initially hit the market in 1942, it was producing 1,250 horsepower. Uh, by the middle of the war, had pushed up past uh, 1,300 to 1,500, and by war's end was producing uh, at or, or nearly over 1,800 horsepower. Uh, the, for me, the novelty of this engine is the fact that the majority of it is aluminum, Again, the total package weight of it is just about 3,000 pounds, and you consider that it's putting out almost uh, one horsepower for every two pounds of engine. That's impressive by today's standards. What really impresses me is the fact that this was developed without computers. It was basically all drawing boards, slide ruler, and some pretty intelligent people. Uh, one of the items about this engine is that it is supercharged. It... Um, Runs primarily uh, on aviation fuel. <laughs> You're out, aren't you? <laughs> and this is Lex. I'm back. And Tim is going to finish up on this incredibly fascinating uh, sharing that he's given us here. So in closing, Tim, what do you have? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, well, with any luck, uh, you'll get to see one of these things run someday, uh, whether it's in Kingston or in other projects around. Uh, pretty darn impressive. Well, well, thank you, Tim, so much for sharing. This is amazing technology. Before computers, it is incredible what we as a species, what we as humankind have been able to create. So until next time, I want to thank Tim for sharing with us today. This is Lex. Be who you are. Be safe. Have fun. And I'll see you on our Hudson River.